I'm Rock Boy. I'm from Arkansas. I'm 25. I produce. So pretty much my mom and them are in a band. Um, they used to do like a whole bunch of shows. And when I was little, I like if we weren't with them at a show, then we was at home and they would have like keyboards and shit and drums around. So I kind of just dabbled with what was there, what was in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Timbaland, Pharrell, Key Wayne, uh, uh, Shoot, how many do I need to name? That's three. That's three, there we go. <laughs> Artists that I have worked with, you have O'Shea, you have the Gonzalez twins, you have, shoot, it's a whole lot of them. Uh, a girl from Toronto named Angeline, she's pretty dope. Shoot. Uh, Jay Wills, he's from Virginia, he's a dope rapper. K. Michelle. Of course, Kevin Gates, as of recently. Man, that's a whole lot of them, to be honest. Ty, Ty Dolla Sign, uh, this girl named Malibu Mitch, um, Fabulous, Kalani, list goes on. Ooh, okay. Cause this can go, either, this can go two ways. I would tell my younger self, one, not to be so stuck on girls because it seemed like for the most part of my life, I was always worried about being in a relationship or doing this or doing that. And it would like hinder me from being the best me that I could be. So I probably tell myself, Shh, all that stuff can come later. Work on what you're trying to do with yourself. Um, you know, find out who you want to be and, and just and push it, push it to the limit. <laughs> Look, six, six, nine. six nine, this, this man, he just, he knew what was gonna come to him. He knew what he was doing. He just felt like he was untouchable. And then when he got touched, now people kind of just want to be like, ah, 6 9 free 6 9 uh, Nah, 6 9 Even Soldier Boy said he was out here doing crazy shit, but he wasn't doing it like how 6 9 was. So, yeah, I, I kind of feel like he knew what he was doing and he knew the consequences behind it, so. You at where you at now. So, first of all, the man stepped up to the girl and got in her face like she was a nigga. And she must have been a nigga with the way she whooped his ass because he, he had all kind of scratches on him and she ain't had one mark. Now, keep in mind, that's probably good because that means that even if she was hitting him, he wasn't trying to hit back and, you know, men aren't supposed to hit women. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. Brother, you shouldn't have stepped to her. He probably should have just walked away, period.